Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name's Hollowtide, and today I wanna to talk about what I would do with a new Halo TV show. Recently, I tweeted my dream ODST show slash movie, and the four actors that I was able to put on the, the tweet, because you only get four pictures, was John Barenthal, Anthony Starr, Michael J. White, and Ma Dong Sok, which he's also known by Don Lee, and I hope that I did not mispronounce that super bad, so I apologize. But it got me thinking, because a lot of people had some suggestions, you know, they want to see Nathan Fillion and Buck and stuff like that. So Alpha 9 is definitely one of the ODST squads, but I was thinking, you know, there's a lot of fire teams that are in, you know, the ODST sphere. You got Sunray, Alpha 9, Fire Team Raven from the the arcade game and i was trying to think of like what i would do for a show and how it would be portrayed and what i decided was i would start from the games i guess beginning and do reach but before we get into the video i just want to say thank you the channel has pretty much had the most growth that it's ever had in like the last like three years and to be covering Halo and what people tell me is a dead game and a dead franchise and stuff, I just want to say thank you because it's because of your support that the channel is doing so well. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're trying to hit 15,000 subs. I think that we can do it before the end of this year if you just hit sub because 90% of you don't sub. Also check the links in the description for Twitter and for Twitch. I am doing a giveaway on Twitter right now. I will put that link in the description and in the pinned comment down below so you guys can enter into that. But let's get into it. Like I said before, I only had four spots for my tweet where I could put actors, but there were a ton of suggestions in the comments with uh, actors and actresses, and there were some really good ones in my opinion. Normally a squad is six to eight members, so you know there's room for more people. But we would follow the bullfrogs who are ODST Urban Warfare Specialists. So they look like ODSTs, they're very recognizable, they have the ODST armor, they'll use the DMR, and what's really cool is that we get jetpacks. So the thing is, I was thinking if this was a TV show, obviously, you know, it would follow, each season, in my mind, would follow a different squad of ODST. So the first season would be the Bullfrogs and the Fall of Reach and the evacuation of New Alexandria. And then the next season could be, you know, like Alpha 9 or something like that. And if it's a movie, then more power to it. It gets, you know, a two hour runtime to be super hardcore. In my mind, this is a very mature show. I mean, John Barenthal, you know, the Punisher, Anthony Starr, like these dudes are ready to go. So it's gonna be very gritty, reminiscent of those old ODST shorts that we've uh, seen in the past. And something else that is cool is that you would actually see Noble Six in the show since he was a part of the missions that they were in. Now, as far as I know and can remember, I don't think there's like anybody that's like specifically named or in any part of the lore where, you know, the, the bullfrogs have like an actual name. So you can kind of be creative with the, you know, the castings and the liberties that you take a little bit. But I think the evacuation is such a good story to have as the first ODST season. It's very gritty. It's like a band of brothers kind of thing. The story would be so personal. You would grow to love these characters. You already know what's going to happen if you've played the games. But I also think that this different point of view would be extremely unique to see. With the previous Halo TV show, you know, we got a super big focus on Spartans and things like that. And this is my personal opinion. I think Spartans should be, like, special. I almost think that it might be kind of a bad thing to have Master Chief in a TV show at this point. Because, one, you don't get Steve Downs as the voice unless you just get him to do the voiceover. Kind of like a Darth Vader thing. But who knows how much longer he's going to want to keep doing this or will retire and stuff like that. And I just feel like you can never live up to the expectations of what Chief is, especially in like a live action TV show if there's not like a huge budget production thing. But as you all know, New Alexandria was under siege for five days, so that's the amount of time that it would take. I'm also not sure if any of the bullfrogs actually survive the siege of New Alexandria and the subsequent evacuation. 
but it would be pretty crazy if like they all died at the end and you know it was just super sad and depressing and honestly that's kind of what i like in my you know war movies is that war is not you know happy go lucky there's not always a happy ending for everybody and most of the time there's not a happy ending for anyone but i would absolutely love to see these actors let me know in the comments down below what you would do what you think the Halo show we deserve is, do you think it should focus on Chief or do you think it should be more of, you know, like the ODST stories? I know a lot of people wanted Christopher Nolan to direct the show and honestly, I can see that. I think he would be good at it. There's also Neil Blomkamp, if you know him, uh, he made District 9, what was supposed to be, you know, the Halo movie and stuff like that. So he's definitely on the list of people I would reach out to. And for me, if I was making this, I would spare no expense. I would make sure that it was going to be well received. I would incorporate, you know, fans in the process that like love Halo, just so that I know I get it right. But that's gonna do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and I will catch you all around the ring. Peace.